Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now, specifically, we're going to be talking about what I think is an early TWAB. And we're going to be talk we're going to be cutting it up in pieces here and there. Uh, I'll most likely be doing the the points that I think matter most to me. And then like the miscellaneous stuff in a separate video. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about rewards because I think this is like the one that a lot of people are going to be most, in most interested considering I think they're abolishing uh sun i think they're abolishing sunsetting uh which is kind of what it sounds like but i could be wrong let me know in the comments below but let's get it so rewards that matter with season 11 we introduced infusion caps an iteration of infusion designed to keep destiny's gear game fresh from release to release and to create a healthy ecosystem for our aspirational content while we still believe in these goals it's clear our execution was off the mark infusion caps helped us meaningfully shift the meta in beyond light and create a reward ecosystem that was manageable to balance and monitor but the system has also made our rewards feel like they have an expiration date and have frequently made playing our legacy content feel shallow we want the rewards you've earned in beyond light and its subsequent seasons to feel like valuable tools you can use in the incredible challenges you'll face in the witch queen so we're changing we're making a change <clears throat> We made the decision that any weapon or armor that can currently be infused to max power will continue to be able to reach max power permanently. Starting in Season 14, we won't be capping the infusion on any weapons or armor that have not already reached the cap as the, season, as the start of the Season 13. This means you'll be able to take your trusty, your fallen guillotine, and all the high stat armor you've earned this year to take on the raid in the Witch Queen. While we strongly believe that Destiny needs a method to shift our meta in the game's most challenging activities, we don't believe that infusion caps are the right answer. We're taking time this year to research and validate a plan that creates a fresh and balanceable ecosystem for our most aspirational content. One that doesn't make our reward feel, rewards feel like they have an expiration date. We've learned a lot this year and don't want to rush finding the best plan, so don't expect to hear anything more about this until after the witch queen jesus that's because we won't be capping because we won't be camping any more of our weapons we must consider more variables in the game balance of our upcoming season releases so expect to see tuning when it comes to our biggest outliers in pvp and pve yes i'm looking at you fell winters and war mine cells this is a big chance for destiny and one that we do not take lightly However, we believe that there's nothing more important in Destiny than getting our rewards right. Perfectly said, rewards should be the biggest thing that Destiny has to offer because it's a looter shooter first and foremost. I mean, it, for me, it's kind of a looter shooter, but that's, aside, that's besides the point. So it kind of sounds like... Now, we can we can take a few things from this. It Either A, they're getting rid of sunsetting, which to a lot of people would be really good, or they're doing uh what they're doing still where it's like a year and then everything gets sunset i it just it kind of sounds like they're getting rid rid of sunsetting i'm definitely gonna make a a super like clickbaity thing where it says where it says like sunsetting is over or something so that way i can get more clicks but i don't know it looks like it looks like they're getting rid of sunsetting there's not they didn't say anything about oh they just said they're getting rid of the the cap which means that those weapons are forever weapons now. I don't know. Uh, I would love to see what other more intelligent people uh, took from this. For me, it just seems like they're taking rid of the infusion caps, which means that the weapons that don't have infusion caps, you can just use forever. The other thing is you can use your trusty and your falling guillotine. Falling guillotine did not come out with uh, Beyond Light and the seasons after. It came out in Season of the Arrivals, so... It makes me wonder, Season of the Arrival weapons, actually even Season of the Worthy weapons as well. So Season of the Worthy and Beyond are weapons that are we can use forever now, considering people were a little afraid that the Warmind Cells would become obsolete because most of the weapons that could create Warmind Cells were going to get Sunset, aside from I think one mod where you could make uh, Warmind Cells from Solar Explosions if I remember correctly. So this is going to be really interesting because now 
everyone was kind of like, yeah, Fell Winters is kind of busted, but you know, it's only going to stay for however long it is. And now it seems like it's not going to get sunset and we're going to have it forever, which means Fell Winters is definitely going to get uh, nerfed. I just wonder how bad the nerf is going to be. It's pro they're probably going to take the shot package away from it, kind of like how they did it in uh, in Destiny One, if I remember correctly. Fell Winters uh, became an aggressive and just had a regular aggressive. Um, it wasn't like shot package anymore. <clears throat> so, yeah, this is a wild change. Uh, if they do take away sunsetting, I am happy, but I also do want to see them tackle the power creep issue because i know that's an issue and that's i know that's why sunsetting was a thing but again i feel like there's better ways to approach it than just saying oh after a year everything's just just useless i feel like there's a better way to do it especially if you keep reintroducing weapons from previous seasons at that point the old weapons that you have should be able to just be like okay that's it You're, you had that weapon it immediately already gets refreshed like I shouldn't be able to, I shouldn't have to re-grind a weapon that I already have because of one stupid symbol. So I'm I'm excited to see what they have in store with this because I know a lot of people quit Destiny 2 because of sunsetting, and if they fix that issue, we'll have a lot uh, a lot of returning players coming back because a you know it sucked that you couldn't basically do that. Um, I'm excited. I'm really excited. Uh, let we're gonna talk about the next portion, which is power play because i think it does fit into that portion as well so now that we're now that we've talked about rewards let's talk about power last year we started a paradigm where we raised the overall power cap by 50 each season while this helped ensure that infusion caps shifted the meta it also made each season feel a significant reset to the power you had accumulated to combat this we will be experimenting with a new power level cap starting in season 14 we will only be raising the power cap by 10 for each non-expansion seasons. This means if you reach the maximum power in season 13, when next season rolls around, you will be directly in the 10 point pinnacle band of the power pursuit. This power increase should feel familiar to anyone who played season of dawn last year. And we're excited to see how this progression or this progression feels alongside our new systems. We believe this change will make it even easier to pick up and enjoy destiny each season while allowing us to have a deep rpg power suit power pursuit when we launch the witch queen so i i i like this change i think uh i think adding 50 levels to like a non-expansion season was ridiculous like there was no reason for it mostly because uh 50 levels is a lot for a little season especially when the season you are you're playing is not that great 50 levels is a lot is a big ask so i do like this this change as well just because it will alleviate a lot of the bitching that people have about the leveling uh, system that destiny has which i do agree with but overall guys uh b sunsetting might not be a thing anymore uh, unless i read this wrong it it looks like all our weapons can like as long as they don't have a cap they can we can have them forever or it could just mean that they they uh, lengthen the time for sunsetting instead of a year it might be like however long it, it is i'm excited to see i want to see what they what they have in store for this particular thing because sunsetting is a big issue i've already said this but sunsetting is a really big problem it like basically it makes the the end game pursuit for weapons and whatnot very shallow uh you basically instead of going for the god roll that like the really really god god roll that you want you kind of just settle for less um or the fact that like maybe you started uh grinding for weapons in beyond light and then at that moment you remembered fuck i'm not going to be able to use in, this in witch queen so why am i even farming this right now hopefully the trusty and all the weapons that i farmed in beyond light are still viable because again it would feel really fucked up if I, all that time i spent raiding getting good gear and like just being annoyed or just all of that just to be wasted away because oh you should have farmed it literally that at the next season so that way you could have done that unfortunate you know like i'm really excited to see let me know your thoughts in the comments below i have i'm gonna make a ton of videos for this because the next portion was pvp which 
I'm yeah we'll talk about that when we talk about that not only that we get a small glimpse at like uh, vault of glass which is coming next season we get a look at the uh, transmog which is still iffy I don't know if uh, they're gonna hit it off the off the park I'm still kind of reserved on some things but overall there's a lot of cool stuff we also get to see some teaser armor for the witch queen which i'm really excited for so yeah stay tuned guys i'm gonna be posting all these videos today tomorrow and it's gonna be wild so i will see you guys later